Welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is for people who want to disable certain Windows services in order to boost the performance of their computer. In this tutorial we'll cover the first point, stopping and disabling a service, second point, starting and enabling a service, and just for fun, disable the desktop items so that they are not visible anymore. But this is not required, so it's just for fun. Alright, uh, step one in stopping and disabling a service. Bring up Notepad and start writing. So, the syntax command is um, net stop, and then you go look um, at the services um, panel by writing this. Okay. So here we are, services, and let's take um, for example automatic updates. So right click properties, and the important part here is that you take the uh, service name, not the display name, otherwise it won't work. So service name, you, you write it down or something. As you can see the automatic updates status is started and uh, startup type is automatic. We're going to change this with, with the command. So again, right click properties, um, write down the uh, service name which is WAU uh, serve in uh, this case. I'll just write it down. We can close this window here, minimize, and you want to give the parameter Y, so we run this in quiet mode, so it doesn't complain about uh, certain things. Next, new line, and um, now we want to uh, disable this service since it was um, auto set on automatic, and we want to set it to disabled so that Windows can't start it up by itself. Because this usually happens that uh, even though it's on manual, Windows can start it and, and uh, we don't want that. So sc config uh, the same service name and then start is uh, this is very important otherwise it won't work so start is space disabled. If you don't have the space in there it won't work so remember to put the space so now that uh, we're done with the uh, stopping and disabling a service part, we can uh, write the uh, echo off. So it's at echo off, just to uh, suppress the commands that are being displayed. So I'll just write a quick pause command so that we can see um, what's happening. Save as uh, in your directory that you want and it's very important to choose save as type all files give it a name let's say um, stop updates dot bat this is very important dot bat save let's, uh, let's see if this works so uh, the automatic updates are started and automatic and we're gonna make it stopped and disabled so let's go to our folder here okay here it is stop updates double click first it's gonna stop the service as you can see the service has been stopped and the uh, sc command has been called change service config success so it's changed the service configuration to uh, disabled it just tells us that it was a success, that it worked. Press any key to continue is just a consequence of the um, of the pause command I issued here. It's not really needed. But uh, if you want to know for sure, if you want if you want to know what's happening on the screen, you you can write it. So exit that. Now, if we uh, look at the services again, we have to do a refresh by clicking here. As you can see, it has been set to disabled and it's stopped. It's no longer started. 
Now, uh, here comes the part of starting the service again. Okay, so to uh, start the service, you want to write, you want to bring up a notepad, and you want to write this sc config. You uh, look at the service name again. Right click properties, the service name. I'll just type it. Close that, minimize, and um, start equals space. Very important. Otherwise, it won't work. Uh, demand. This means set the uh, service control manager to configure the automatic updates to start on demand, which means manual. Okay. Now that we uh, enabled it back to uh, manual, we can start it. Otherwise, it would not be possible. Let's start W uh, serve, which is a service name, uh, and then Y. Okay. Again, I'll just uh, I'll put an echo off so we can suppress the command writing. And I'll put a pause. So file save as in the same folder. All files. Um, let's see. Start updates. Dot bat. Save. Now we're gonna see the result of this. So examples. As you can see, I'll just refresh. It uh, it's still on uh, stopped and disabled and we're gonna bring it back to uh, started and enabled so as you can see uh, it changed it back to uh, enabled to manual and then it started the uh, service again successfully and we're done now to confirm this we're gonna go back to services and uh, refresh as you can see it was started and uh, Start type is set to a uh, manual again. That's it. Now, uh, as the uh, extra fun parts that I promised, the uh, you know disabling the items on the desktop, I will um, demonstrate it. So you need to navigate to this um, particular registry key. Reg edit. Okay. Okay, there we are. So, how do you get to this point? As you can see, H key CU means H key current user. Software. So, we go down to software. Microsoft. And Windows. Current version policies explorer open this up now let's right click new D word value and we'll call it no desktop because this is a standard value to disable it the default value is zero that means the items on the desktop are not hidden and we'll make it to uh, hidden by double clicking on the value and typing a one so now it's one. Okay, close. In order to make this work, we need to restart Explorer, the Explorer process. Uh, not Internet Explorer, but Explorer, which is the environment that we're running, the window management. Okay, you uh, run Task Manager, you find Explorer right click end process yes now file new task we write explorer and we click OK as you can see I just hit my desktop items including my recycle bin um, you know without doing all the tricky document stuff like this 
you know, without um, going to the desktop and then deleting all that stuff, you know. Yeah, this is a much easier way. Well, let's go back to the registry and um, make it undo this because, you know, we don't want this, <laughs> obviously. Uh, first, I will add to favorites um, this um, registry key and I'll call it Explorer Policies. You know, so that we can quickly navigate to it. Right. Okay, no desktop. I'll just uh, set this back to zero. Double click, zero. Okay, so that's that. And, and now that we set this back to zero, all we have to do is uh, just do the uh, task manager thing, which is kill explorer and start it again. Explorer. There we go. Our stuff is back. Hope you enjoyed it.